In our second example of how to find the efficiency of a heat engine, we have an example here where we have a, an engine that puts out 1,800 joules of work and expels 3,900 joules of heat to the coal reservoir. And the question is, what is the efficiency of this engine? And so we go, all right, the equation tells us that the efficiency is equal to the work done divided by the heat um, taken in from the hot reservoir. And another way of writing that is that is equal to the difference between the hot reservoir minus the coal reservoir, or I should say the heat coming from the coal re hot reservoir and expelled from the coal reservoir divided by the heat taken from the hot reservoir. The problem in this case is we were not given the heat taken from the hot reservoir. So how do we find that? Well, we go back to the equation that the work done is equal to the Q hot minus Q cold. With other words, if I then put the Q cold on the other side and to change the equation around, I can write that Q hot is equal to work plus Q cold. So we grab it, the work done, 1800 joules. We add that to the heat expelled to the cold reservoir, 3900 joules, put that together, and we have 5700 joules coming from the hot reservoir. At that point, we can go ahead and calculate the efficiency. The efficiency is therefore equal to the work divided by Q hot. In this case, the work is 1800 joules. Q hot is, as we just calculated, 5700 joules. And that ratio, I'll need a calculator for that. So I have 1800 divided by 5700, and that would be 0 0.316. Round it off to three significant figures, 316, which is equal to 31.6%. Okay, that's pretty good efficiency for an engine. Uh, probably not a gasoline engine, but perhaps a diesel engine. So that's how you find the efficiency in a case like that.